Hey, Shalom Amakim, Shalom. Uh, first thing and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor as due to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone that rule well. Blessings and salutations to the hopeful elect brothers, noise in this gospel, bro. I lift them to standard of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, wherever they may be. Uh, this is just a quick lesson through the spirit. This is kind of piggybacking on the uh, pre Sha'ar. Okay, one of the elder brothers from Dallas. Good brother, by the way. Very articulate, very thorough. You know, very, very good brother, man. Very, uh, uh, very highly of that brother through the spirit, man. But uh, I want to piggyback on what he was uh, saying about the reset button being best for Jake. Okay, because brother made various points in the video alluding to why niggas need to be reset. Okay, why niggas need to be outed. And one thing he stood that said that stood out was he mentioned about the bitch assness of Jake. Okay, because when you come into this knowledge and wisdom and understanding, I always mention it and I will echo this statement again. You meet more, you meet the worst Israelites and you meet the best Israelites. Oftentimes you, gra you, you, you gravitate more towards the righteous Israelites, but you seem to come across more wicked Israelites than righteous, man. Okay, because we understand that the scriptures say not all men receive the same. Okay, so you have a lot of men in this thing that claim to be righteous or that appear to be righteous, but yet they have nefarious motives, man. And what I mean by that is teaching false doctrine, okay, whether it be going off on a doctrine, okay, putting in, uh, saying demable heresies, bringing in false teachings, also um, offensive motives, man, like money, filthy lucre. Okay, and a cultic type mindset or what they call a cult of personality, you know, so when you find out what Israelite camp to follow Naturally, if the spirit is dealing with you, you tend to gravitate towards a sincere men Okay, because like I said, man, you got a lot of men in this thing. That's not right Then translating over to the Jake's in the world Okay, which Jake in the world, they're just totally gone You see because for one thing they are all encapsulated by this wicked kingdom called America this is why you got Jake's that's in fraternities, sororities. Okay, well, I mean, I guess a fraternity, I guess a sorority is more like for the women. But then you got Jake's that's Masons. Jake that's into the uh, Jesuit order. You got Jake that's into the police force, military. Okay, you got Jake that's into, uh, 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 what do you call it, uh, gang banging. Okay, like you got Bloods and Crips, Vice Lords, Black Stones, GDs, BDs. You know, you got Pimps. Okay, you got niggas that's into all types of wickedness, man. But then when you ask them about the righteousness of the Heavenly Father, they look at you like you got two heads, man. Like right now, they got this bullshit ass, this bullshit ass uh, uh, dinner thing at work. You know what I'm saying? And um, they call it like a holiday food, some shit, holiday dinner. They can't call it Christmas or whatever this bullshit is, man. And I told my supervisor straight forward, I'm like, I'm like, I'm not going to that shit, man. I'm like, I don't want to go to it. And, you know, and she's begging me and pleading me. And then she's like, well, just come at least get some food, man. I'm like, why the hell do you people want me to attend this shit so bad? Like, I told y'all, I'm not into this holiday shit. Every holiday out in y'all head, I never attended, you know? And she was like, well, it's not necessarily that. It's just the end of the year thing, you know? And she was like, well, if you could go pick up the chicken for us, X, Y, and Z, it'd be all good. Which they're paying me for it. So I'm like, all right, fuck it, whatever. But see, these people are literally in the mindset of, of, of that everything is going to be okay in Babylon, man. Okay, you still got Jake's that put up motherfucking Christmas trees, man. So the best thing or the best remedy for Jake, honestly speaking, is destruction. Like the beloved preacher R said, he said, look, he said Jake needs to be reset. And I, he's saying it nice. Honestly, brother, you're a little too nice in that. Honestly speaking, I want to see niggas be destroyed. Okay, I want to see niggas die. I want to see Jake get fucked up, you know, because for the simple fact, niggas is not going to get corrected on his side, man. Okay, these are the same wicked Jake's. That that murmured and that provoked the Yahweh by Shimei was shot in the wilderness, man. That's why what it appeared to be an 11 day trip took us 40 years to get out of the wilderness because the Most High kept them niggas in a time loop to ultimately kill them off because they were complaining. Okay, here Jake was getting manna from heaven, which is considered angels' bread. Jake, hey Moses, smoked the rock and became water. We had the chariot, which is the cloud by day and the pillar of fire by night. Okay, the Most High took care of us. He put our enemies to flight. Okay, he cleared the land, so therefore we can take over and set up the land, and yet niggas was still bullshit. Niggas was still going off, 
serving idols. They were complaining because they wasn't uh, able to, to, to live on the Pharaoh no more. Okay, but instead they rather been slaves before they before they became sovereign in, 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 in just a sovereign nation, man. They rather stayed under the Egyptians before they bowed down to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Even when they made the covenant with the Lord by this day, it says we would do all thy sin, keep the commandments. That was that blood covenant we made with the most high, man. And Jake was still going off. Okay, prime example now, you got our women, sexy red. Everybody is getting on this woman's case because for the simple fact. You know, she's promoting whoredom and debauchery among our women. But wait a minute. She's not the only one. You got fucking, uh, what's this other spi Ice Spice? You got this uh, uh, Kim Kardashian culture. You had Look, Look, Look Kim. Uh, what's her other name? Uh, Trina. You know, Foxy Brown. And you had the, the, the ways of whoredom to pave the way before these current hoes, man. You know? But everybody's mad at Sexy Red. Well, she's a demon. You know, because she came out and basically said she sold our soul, but she don't give a fuck because she likes the money. Well, this is who you Jake's elected to follow, man. Okay, you are the same wicked ass niggas that say, hey, free Barabbas and crucify your house shot. So, hey, brothers, man, don't be uh, uh, dismayed or don't be fretting when a nigga fucking disregards you or writes you off like he's unimportant. They did the same thing to our Lord. They did the same thing to the prophets, man. Okay, they hated the message we ultimately come with. Because it condemns them and ultimately they're not enlightened. Okay, because the most I have a spirit of deep sleep on them. And like the elder brother said, he said they have to behave that way towards you because the most high has an oath to destroy these niggas, man. Okay? And contrary to popular opinion, opinion, the most high hates niggas. Okay, we know that they're the Israelites and overall, for the greater good, he will save them because they are his people. But ultimately the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai can't stand niggas, bro. And I can't stand niggas. I don't want to be seen with a nigga, man. Okay, I don't want to be seen with niggas. I don't. I don't want to live around niggas. I don't want to live around. I don't want to even work around niggas for real because it's nothing but confusion. It ain't nothing but full of vain opinions, complaints, you know, disrespect, haughtiness, proud behavior, and just just a lot of lewdness, man. And the shit gets old. So hey, I'm with the preacher art. I'm ready to see you niggas get put down, man, because your Howard Shimao shot has a judgment so impeccable that's getting ready to hit America. To the point you niggas are gonna question your very fucking existence, man. And good for you. Alright? Cause like I said, man, you meet some of the worst niggas in this truth. Okay, and me personally, I've met some horrible Israelites. I've seen some horrible Israelites. Niggas that I wouldn't even want to be seen in the same vicinity at, man. You know, like you got now, this guy talking about uh the name of the Lord don't matter. That's a stupid idiot right there. That's a demon. You know? Oh my god, man, what the fuck? It's traffic. It's just like, how the hell do y'all? And this is another thing that fucking the, the goddamn traffic, man. This is this is just fucking annoying. Yeah, I gotta pick this bullshit up, and yet somebody decided probably some dumbass black woman or some damn woman texting and driving and probably hit somebody and she's screaming victim. Yeah, you rear ended somebody because you out here trying to do your lashes, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and look good for the IG camera, and yet you run into the back of somebody's fucking car, and then you want to sue them when you're the problem. Okay, this place got to go. And this is why the Lord said, man, this generation by no means should pass away until having an earth pass away, man. All right. So anyway, I got a couple of precepts real quick, nothing too long. But this is the book of Jeremiah 11. And I'm going to start at verses uh, 14. Matter of fact, let's start at verses 12. It says, then shall the cities of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem go and cry unto the gods whom they offer incense. And when you look at Jake, they worship uh, Saturnalia. Okay, they worship uh, 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 Thanksgiving, you know, the, 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 the 4th of July. They worship themselves. You got Jake that's still prescribing that the black woman is fucking God, which I don't know how, how they get that from. Okay, you got people that say that life starts with the woman. Jake worships all type of things. They worship themselves. Like, I see a lot of videos, man. Like, I think it's this nigga that go by the name Daylight. He's supposed to be like some type of woke conscientious Jake cat with all these different philosophies about how to reach self-greatness. But yet, your black ass is still in here in America, man. Still eating GMO foods. You're still subject to taxes, rent. Okay, you got baby mama drama. But yet, you niggas are talking about a higher consciousness when you can't even free yourselves from your captivity. So it's all folly, man. And this is why the Most High is getting ready to wipe the slate clean. A world without niggas is needed, man. Okay, and I've seen that firsthand. A world without niggas. Okay, you got niggas that's all skilled in debate. They go tit for tat, but yet when you ask them to bring out the account on the fruits of the spirit, 
these niggas, it's crickets, man. You know? But anyway, and it says here, but they should not save them at all in a time of their trouble. So when you call on Jesus Christ, Allah, you call on your black woman as a God, when all hell break loose, the Lord said, call upon those names. According to Judges 10 and 13, the Lord said, call upon those names, man. Okay, and see what those powers or those particular deities or who you call gods, which are no gods, let's see if they deliver you. Okay, because you're gonna have a rude awakening in the time that we're getting ready to enter into. Called on a black woman when martial law was beating down your door and getting ready to stick the MOTB in you and your kids. All right, but it says here, uh, for the according to the number of the cities were thy gods, O Judah, and according to the number of the streets of Jerusalem, which those are the two kingdoms, ye have set up altars. To that shameful thing Even altars to burn incense to Baal And when you look at the spirit of Jake They're coming in the spirit of Molech Or Baal Or as some people say Baal Peor And um, uh, uh, ba Baileal or Balau Which Balau goes into the sons of the devil Or the wicked one man Like when you go into the account of Samuel Then you had the sons of Eli Which Eli was pretty much cursed out by the Most High Because he didn't correct his sons You know committing incest and adultery On, in a, on an altar Okay, popping uh, hard, all types of wickedness these niggas were doing, but yet their father was like an, uh, like a priest, man. But then he didn't correct them, so hey, they got fucked up. You see, but this is the type of shit we're up against, man. You know, you got women that spirit cook. You know, they believe in putting things in your food to get you to behave a certain way towards their feminism, and they're just like, damn, we got to get the hell out of here, man. Okay, call Lord how about you, man? I was shot four 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 mercy. That's right. But it says here, therefore pray not for this people, neither lift up a cry or a prayer for them. For I will not hear them in the time that they cry unto me in their trouble. So, hey, we ain't praying for these niggas, man. Okay, we're not praying for them. I'm not praying for no celebrities. We're not praying. I'm not, I don't even pray for my fucking, I don't even pray for, pray for my blood brother, man. Okay, as, as, as evil and as bad as that sound, I don't pray for that nigga, man. Why? Because he's not in the right spirit. You see, and the Lord said, uh, even those that pray unto him, that keep not the law Even their prayers Should be an abomination Okay I don't pray for my cousins I don't pray for none of them man At times I barely want to pray For my own goddamn mother Because she's bugged out But hey I send up prayers for my mother man You know That the Lord correct her But at the end of the day It's not up to me You could pray a thousand times For these people If the Most High Is seek to destroy Or have a hell bent On destroying these people Your prayers is really Falling on deaf ears man So that's why Sincere prayers go out To the brotherhood To the sincere men and women that's in this thing You know And the men And the women that's truly a help Until you how about you And how we shot But for the other you Fuck you man Okay we don't give a damn About the rest of you tribes man And we don't really give a damn About the rest of you niggas In these other camps too But we do exercise Turn the other cheek Loving our fellow Israelite brother Because we will salute you And we will deal with you If you are sincere and genuine But if you are gonna be on some bullshit Then the hell with you man Okay uh, I got one more precept and I'm going to end it. The point is being made. This is the book of Luke 10. And I'm going to start at verses. Uh, the whole chapter is really good because he's going into wicked ass. Jay. Let's start at verses uh, 16. It says, he that heareth you, heareth me. And he that despise you, despise it me. And he that despise it me, despise it me that sent me. So when you got a Jake or you know, a lot of times you're women. A lot of times our women claim to believe in a God. But yet you're coming in the name In the pure holy name of the Lord But yet they don't still follow you Or they totally negate your advice Or your judgment man But yet they claim to be in the most high But yet we just read in 16 He that heareth you heareth me So we're coming in a voice of Yahweh Shai man Because Yahweh Shai is not physically on the planet earth To speak to, speak to you people So who else is next up? The prophets man Okay the men of the Lord So if we have the voice of Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai You gotta hearken to it but see, Jake didn't ever take the prophet serious because they were just men. Okay, Jake wanted a sign from the Most High himself. But yet when the Most High showed himself, Jake was bitching up, man. They was afraid. Okay, because they couldn't deal with the power that the Lord uh, uh, showed. You know? So it says here, he that heareth you heareth me, and he that despises you despises me, and he that despises me despises him that sent me. So that's the point, man. So if they despise us, they despise your was shot. Period. Because it was a debate. I won't say at the bay, but there was a discussion between a group of men and women about a couple of weeks ago. And you got women in there talking about, well, if my man don't submit to God, I ain't got to submit to him. That's bullshit. Okay, if you go in the book of, uh, I believe it was, uh, what was it, Esther, if I'm not mistaken. It may have been Esther or, uh, not Ruth, but it went back into Vashti. 
Okay, she was a uh, 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 she could have been a nigger woman, who knows? But it was uh, uh, during a time of I believe it was the uh, I think it was the Persian king, if I'm not mistaken, Salakia. Got to go back over that history. But basically, she defied the king by not beckoning to his order. So he put a decree out that every woman should submit to her husband, whether he be rich or poor, small or great. So all that bullshit about I'm going to submit to Yahweh and not my man, you out your mind because the Lord doesn't deal with this order. Okay? So anyway, I'm going to end it there, brothers. Giving all praises and glory and honor that's due to Yahweh by Shimon Shai by Shimon Kakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone and rule well and blessings and salutations to the whole full life. And with that, shalom.